is actually a former NFL player, so is this, and so is this. We've seen it now in many, many football players at the professional level, but also in the college level, and very disturbingly at the high school level. And I think five years ago, most of us didn't realize this could occur. My name is Anne McKee, and I'm the chief neuropathologist for the Boston VA and the New England VAs. And then this is the brain of another uh, former NFL player. And, you know, usually these football players are big guys. This one looks like it's already had some shrinkage. Here at the VA, we have what we call the CSTE Brain Bank. And it's actually the world's largest brain bank that studies what we call mild traumatic brain injury. This you know, mild but repetitive brain trauma really affects the frontal lobes quite a lot and also the temporal lobes. So we see some of the earliest changes in those regions of the brain which get steadily worse. So I'm just going to take another cut. There's been a, an enormous uh, shift in public opinion about concussion. We used to think of it as a ding or you know, getting just a little minor injury that you could just uh, shake off. But now we know that there are in some individuals long-term devastating effects. And some individuals can go on to develop this terrible disease called chronic traumatic encephalopathy. The tau protein that's deposited in CTE is the same tau protein that's deposited in Alzheimer's disease. Tau is an integral part of the structure, what we call the cytoskeleton, or the scaffolding of the cell. And when tau gets injured, when the axon gets stretched, the tau becomes altered, and it actually falls off that skeleton. It forms abnormal clumps inside the cell, and they just begin to accumulate and accumulate, and at some point it becomes a self-perpetuating process.